Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Avia and I've been living and traveling North America in my self-converted minivan, Faith, for the past two years. And I've just spent about three weeks on the coast of Oregon. If you haven't seen those videos, well, go check them out so you're caught up. Now I'm headed to Yellowstone National Park. I've never been there before, so my plate of expectations is a mixture of nervousness, worry, and excitement. Yellowstone National Park is a two million acre wilderness recreational area atop a volcanic hotspot. Yellowstone is not only known for its wildlife inhabitants, it is also known for its canyons, waterfalls, hot springs, and gushing geysers. And during my two day visit, I was able to capture all of that. So let's journey Yellowstone National Park together. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe now and the notification bell will let you know of future videos. Let's go. My windshield is dirty, but y'all, I've been driving, okay? <laughs> We're about to enter the park. Oh my gosh. I am really nervous. so freaking <sighs> nervous and scared there's grizzly birds up in here y'all a lot of wildlife okay and I would feel much better if I wasn't by myself but we're gonna take a little drive today okay a little drive today and um, in the park and see what I can see before it gets dark in about three hours and I think I found somewhere to stealth already tonight. Yes, so I will not be camping in the park itself. Um, no, not by myself, no. But let's go see what we can see, guys. We're in yellow, baby. Okay, calm down, calm down. I'm excited. I think, isn't this like one of the biggest or the biggest national park in the country? Wow, guys. <laughs> wow. It's steaming over there. You see that, guys? You can feel the heat and steam. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear it bubbling in there. Bubbling. Like, it's hot under here. <laughs> Guys, this is unbelievable. This is called the Red Spouter. Wow, unbelievable. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> so it's gonna, the sun is starting to, to fall, to set. So, I'm not too far from the exit out of here. It's probably 40 minutes, but I wanted to come here just for today. And then tomorrow morning, 
we're going to start our Yellowstone National Park. So the guy at Dan, that's your name, Dan. <laughs> if you're watching this video, hi! Dan at the Visitor Center in the West Wyoming, um, West Yellowstone Park entrance area. That's where Dan is, good historian. Great information he gave me, but he suggested, he told me there's over a hundred things to see and do in this park. And I'm going to be here for two days. And in two days, he gave me a list of things to do. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and see as much of the 25 as we can. And yeah, as much as we can in two days. So, whew. Mexican restaurant, they turned the bus into a restaurant. It's so cool. Okay, so I'm at the place I'm supposed to stealth at tonight, and I'll show you in a minute. But I found it on iOverlander. I find a lot on iOverlander, obviously. <laughs> but um, now I'm at the west entrance of Yellowstone National Park, and I went to the visitor center to get a map and I spoke with Dan. So if you guys ever go to the West entrance, Dan, if you're watching this, cause I gave him my channel information. He is awesome, very informative. He knows the history, um, very informative. Yes, he has a lot of information and it sounds like he loves to share it. So he gave me some helpful tips um, he mapped out a route for me for two days and gave me suggestions of things to see. He said that there is over a hundred things to see. And in two days, I should be able to see at least 25. And then he said, my next visit, you see the next 75. <laughs> so out of that 25 things, I'm going to try and see what I can see as much as I can. I found this little place on iOverland where I'm going to stealth at tonight. And let me show you guys. Hold on. I wanted to get my glasses on, y'all. <laughs> okay. So, I don't see any signs that say no parking. No overnight parking. No nothing. Um, did I park cricket? Let me see. Yeah, I could straighten it up a little bit. Yeah, so I'm on this street. I don't know. There's really not residents. I'm not in front of no one's house. So I should be good. And yeah, I should be good right here tonight. So this is where I'm going to be. And I put it like this. <laughs> if I get a ticket or something, um, <laughs> it's cheaper than renting a room out here. So if I so oh well but I should be fine I'll see you in the morning but yeah so 
he also suggested, Dan also suggested that um, the animals, the wildlife are more active in the morning when it's cooler temperatures. So it's predicted to be like in the upper 40s tomorrow morning. So, and I'm an early bird. And I hope other people are because I don't want to be out there by myself. Anyways, but I'm thinking, get up in the morning and let's start, get some coffee and head back to the park. Now, I am <laughs> three minutes away from the park entrance. How, 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 how did I land this? How did I get so lucky? Because I was looking at hotels. I was. And around this area, <laughs> good luck. You're not going to find nothing under 200 for sure a night. And I've seen some as high as 400 a night. So good luck with that one. But <clears throat> I'm excited now that I went and did a little trip. I'm excited. Nervous, I was, yes. But I think my excitement is outweighing my fear and nervousness. So let's hope that stays true for tomorrow. So I'll catch y'all back in the morning. Good morning, guys. I can't believe I'm saying this. In the month of July, really I can't. But I started my car to let my car warm up. <laughs> it's like, let me see what the temperature is. 43 degrees. Yeah, so there's a little frost on my on my windshield. So I'm up this morning and I'm looking around. I'm like, are there any other early birds like me? <laughs> and there are people driving around, so I don't feel so bad, okay? I am an early bird, but I want to get the day started. So let my car warm up for a second. And I need to, I got clothes back there. I need to put away that I washed and I need, I haven't put them away yet, but I want to put them away because last night sleeping in my van with them clothes not put away, it, it kind of annoyed me. So I need to get it together, okay? So I need to do that, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna do that sometime today, but not, maybe not this morning. Um, but I need to also wash my windows and get some morning coffee. And I need to go brush my teeth, wash my face. And then I'm thinking by that, oh yeah. And I'm gonna top off my gas cause we are gonna spend most of the day in the park, guys, most of the day in the park. I'm excited. So let me go ahead and do what I need to do this morning um, to get this ball rolling. Let's go. So the spot I was at, I got no ticket, but I'm seeing cars down there. I could have parked over there too. So in case that spot's not available tonight, I see other, a few other space spots that I can park at. Yeah. The gas stations ain't even open yet. It's 5.46 in the morning. What's the deal, yo? Gas stations are not open. My goodness. <laughs> There's gotta be one open. One open. I think I see one down there. Let's go down this way. I think I found one. So I'm going to fill up and wash my windows here. Yeah, because we can't be looking through bug juice all day. I can't do that. So, yeah, let me get... Now, when it gets buggy like this, guys, I tend to use what they have. And I also use my glass cleaner as well. Yeah, let's get this done. I put my clothes away, organized the van a little bit better. It's not perfect, but it'll do for the day. But at least my clothes are put away. 
So, we gonna take this out the case. <laughs> this is bear spray. And um, it sprays up to 35 feet. Yeah. So, let's, in case we need this, let's just pray we don't. Um, but you see how long it's taking me to get it out the case? That's why you get it out the case before you go to the park. My goodness. Okay. There's the bear spray. Oh, it comes with a little holder. I didn't know that. And this is the safety thing, or that you should remove. Uh, I probably need something to cut that with. This will work. There we go. Okay. Slide off before use. like that and then we slide it back on when we're not using it okay and this part right here is glow in the dark it says so this so you can't accidentally spray it on accident with the safety on there so that's that okay y'all <laughs> and i guess you attach it to your belt i don't have a belt anyways we have it. <coughs> this goes in the front seat. Okay. Safety always. Let's pray we don't have to use this, which I doubt we do. Yeah, so I got my bear spray and I have my defender knife. And this will be attached right here. I can get it on there. To my pants. Like so. But we can leave this in the front seat. I have all my equipment ready. Got my GoPro ready. Got my Zoom cam ready. I need a tripod for this camera. I have a tripod, but um, the attachment, the Zoom attachment, is heavy, so it don't work for that tripod that I have with it that I have unfortunately so I'll be looking to get a tripod for this one of these days okay alrighty let's head to the park okay so here is the map that Dan mapped out for me here's where he said there's a hundred things to do do 25 in two days okay so here is where we're going to enter the park okay and there are you know several things to do on in this loop i'm not sure how many miles this loop is or how long it is but he said you it can take you out you can spend hours out there so i was like okay i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and then tomorrow for day two 
Um, he said to take this loop to go. Yeah. So we're going to take loop number one today. That's the plan. And we saw. Yeah. Oh, this is where we saw yesterday fountain paint pot. Yeah. So hopefully we can go see some of these other things. Yeah. Let's go. And here I thought I was going to be out here by myself this early in the morning. But y'all, I told y'all I'm not the only early bird. I'm not. There's a line. I uh, see you got to have your camera locked and ready. I just drove right past a bison walking. Like almost right next to a car on the road. I was, but I... I didn't stop because he was too close. I was like, oh, yeah, no. But got to have your camera locked and ready to go. Now, this is where we were yesterday. But you see more steam today because it's still cold. Wow. That over there too. Can you see me? It's so foggy or steamy. If you haven't made it to Yellowstone National Park, please add that to your bucket list before it erupts. <laughs> no, add it to your bucket list. You won't regret it. The pass is $35 for auto, and that pass is good for seven days. And they say the temperature up to 220 degrees, and that's 45 feet underneath the surface and deep down underneath it is as hot as 400 degrees there's two of them there's one inside the this dude's truck and there's one over there oh my goodness <laughs> cute i think this is the closest i've ever been to one seriously This one's called Sapphire Pool. You can feel the steam and the heat. Wow. I wish you guys can see the inside of it like I see it. It is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it. You can see it a little bit.
This is another one of the best moments of my life. <laughs> Can you guys hear that boiling in there? I know you can hear that one. Now you're about to watch Old Faithful erupt. Old Faithful erupts every 90 minutes. And I sat around 40 minutes to wait for this amazing eruption. We are about to see mud volcano. gonna catch my close-up yeah there's I think two of them right here I got my zoom camera y'all <laughs> I'm 
walked all the way to the car and I looked back at the bisons and dude got up. So I'm going back to go get that. He's getting a little too close. <laughs> now I think that's as close as I will get to a bison. That thing was really close. The camera may not show it, how close we were with it, but yeah, you know, and he was minding his business. We was minding his, our business. Well, we weren't minding our business, honey. We was all up in his grill. <laughs> But we weren't bothering him, hopefully. So, you know, most likely, if you don't bother them, they don't bother you. You know, and don't entice them and nothing like that. Yeah, that was cool. Look at this hill, y'all. I know. That's why it's forced to go up. Oh, um, I ran into them. Sorry. Look out. Sorry. <laughs> I love him, but eh. The question is, is he I am going to regret this, y'all. This hill is pretty steep. And I'm not even sure how long it is. Look at that. Ooh. Holy cow. I'm surviving I'm going back up and I'm stopping at every turn and rest that's what I get for smoking cigarettes I know I know okay Whew. now rest before I go up to that hill basically what they got us doing is climbing a mountain Lord. Whew. Not for me, but it was worth it. Made it to the top. That was three eighths of a mile all uphill. Whew. Yeah. But I made it slowly, but surely. It was worth it. Nice cold spring water. Yeah. It's cold too. Now it's six o'clock. <laughs> I've literally been out here all day, guys. All day. I mean, my gosh. Sorry. <sighs> I've been out here all day. <sighs> I got 
bit. I need to go get some rubbing alcohol. <sighs> Got bit a few times. Wow. Six o'clock. 6.03 to be exact. I've been out here all day. <sighs> Let's see. What does my map say? Oh, I can't. Can't read with my glasses on. Can't read them when I'm off. Lord, we still got, we're almost done, but I'm getting hungry. I think I didn't work up an appetite. So, you know, I think we can head back because tomorrow it looks like the stuff that I would see on the way back, I'm going to see tomorrow anyways. Welcome back to Yellowstone National Park. Today is day two, and we are taking loop number two. It is currently seven o'clock in the morning. Temperature, 45 degrees. Let's go. So peaceful out here. Scary. <laughs> uh, loop two is not as busy and popular as loop one so there's not a lot of traffic <laughs> if there was more people on the trail i would definitely go further in but not by myself y'all these are moments where you wish you had someone with you Today's mission is to find bears. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm going looking for bears today. And I've been driving around for a few hours already. I haven't really seen anything, um, but hopefully the direction I'm going now, I think we may be in luck. So I'm right by Canyon Village and there is a service station here and I'm a little under a half a tank of gas so i'm gonna fill her up because we ain't running out of gas nowhere in nobody's national forest i mean national park whatever not with no bears honey Yeah, 
just when I was about to give up on finding bears, I found not a black bear this time, grizzly bears. <laughs> it was a grizzly bear mom and two cubs. Wow, I could, man, I wish I could have got more of them, but this area right now is heavily patrolled. So we got to get back in our vehicles now and I'm about to head out. It's heavily controlled right now. It looks like the bears are walking further away anyways. Yeah, that was awesome. They do not play when it comes to these bears. Oh, another one. Oh yeah. So it wasn't another bear, but it was a herd of bisons and babies. And guys, I probably spent nearly 30 minutes watching these guys. Although there is so much to see at Yellowstone National Park, unfortunately, this is where I'm going to end the video. So be sure to subscribe. The notification bell will let you know when I upload my next video. But until then, guys, like I always say, live your joy, travel safely, and I'll see you on the next video. Shalom.